Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show how you can install real Debian on your Pi. This is not Raspberry Pi OS, this is Debian Buster 10. So first, to install this, you need to have a computer, um, a different computer, and you have to download the one for the Pi 4 from this website. It will be in the description. So you d this is tested images. So they release daily images, but those aren't tested. So there's no guarantee that that will work. So I would just go with the tested one. And it does work with the 8GB and the 4GB Pi. So you just download the XZ compressed image. So you just hit that. And you download it. I already have it downloaded, so I don't need to do that. And once you have it all downloaded, what you're going to do is you're going to open up Etcher. You can use Raspberry Pi Imager or Win32 Disk Imager if you like. But Etcher seems to have the best speeds for me. So that's why I use it. Flash run file, and you click that image. Select target, and select your SD card, and then flash it. And once you flashed it, you have to go to a different Linux computer. Or I mean, if this is a Linux computer you're using, you don't need a different one. And then you open up Gpartit, and, and you're going to have to expand the partition. I'll show you how you do that now. Okay, so I'm on my Linux PC now. You could be doing this on the Raspberry Pi, running a different operating system. That would work too. So I plugged in my SD card into the SD card slot, and I need to search for Gpartit. And just type in your password to open up Gpartit. And I go up here. And I choose my SD card, which is 15 gigabytes. And I go to this little part right here. Right click. Resize move. And I pull this all the way. And then I go resize move. And hit the tick mark. And go apply. And it's just going to grow the partition. So we'll be able to use all of the space to install the desktop. As, as you see, that's done now, so now we can plug it in our Pi and boot it up. Okay, so when you boot it up, you should see this screen. And when it says login, just type root and hit enter. And it goes straight to here. So what we need to do first is apt update. So this operating system is in the root, so you don't need to use sudo. You just type apt. And as you see, it's updating our system now, and we, we need that to get all of the latest updates. So five packages can be upgraded. So now we need to type sudo up upgrade and hit enter. And when prompted, why? And it's not a huge update, so it does do it really fast. But it always sits at this generating boot image for a few, um, like a minute or something. I don't know why, but it's kind of interesting that it always does this when you update your system. So I'm going to be showing how you can install XFCE. But instead, you could you guys could try a different desktop environment. I don't know how those perform or anything because I've only tried XFCE. That's the most lightweight you can get. That's the reason I've tried it. But you guys could try other ones too. So it's done. So we need to type is apt install XFCE4. Apt install XFCE4. Hit enter. And there's going to be this long thing, and you're going to hit Y and enter. So this does take a while because it, it's installing the whole desktop environment. So it might take from 15 to 20 minutes, so just wait for that. So I got to this thing, this place, and it says it's done. So what you need to type is reboot, and it's going to reboot us into the new desktop. Once you're done with the reboot, you get to this login screen. And in the username right here, you need to type root. Leave the password blank, hit enter, and hit enter again. Or just press the login button. And it should sh start showing the desktop. And it says to the first start of the panel, I just go use default config. 
and it goes like this. So, it looks not the best, but I mean, it's cool. So, we have settings, we have all these different settings in here, accessories, multimedia, system. So, as you see, it's a very uh, minimal desktop, there's not much to it. So we do have a web browser, but on my other testings, the web browser didn't work. You try to launch it, and it says fail to execute default web browser. So to fix that, open up a terminal and type app install firefox-esr, and you hit enter. And this will install Firefox for us to fix not having the browser working. So it's not a huge deal, and then you go, you can click home, and this is the default um, file manager basically. So you can go downloads, looks cool, and then file system shows like the root of your system, the boot, and the root, and the user share themes, all of that stuff is in there. And we have trash, and then we have this cool panel at the bottom. With if you click on this, you can just straight up open up different files. All from there so it's done installing so I can close that and if I go to internet now I have Firefox so it's not a huge deal that that browser doesn't work because just install Firefox and Firefox probably is gonna perform better anyway so so Amazon loaded it up pretty nice and quick Web browsing seems smooth. <laughs> Blender. <laughs> so let's go into some YouTube now. I wasn't typing. That's kind of annoying. Mm -mm. Didn't mean to make it like that. So I can just click on here and make it full screen. So YouTube performance is looking a bit choppy compared to some other operating systems on the Pi. It's not the best, but it's usable. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention. This is a 64-bit operating system. It's not 32-bit. So it can run 64-bit apps, but not 32-bit. And so if we open up a terminal... So nail fetch will show us all of our details about our system. So I just wanted to show you guys that and what it says. So it has the Debian logo here, and it says Debian Linux 10 Arch 64 Raspberry Pi model model Rev.1.4, which means 8 gigabyte. I've been open for five and XFCE. Yeah, so it's pretty cool how that works. Yeah, so this is um, XFCE Debian Buster 10 running on the Pi 4. Um, so I hope you guys like this video, and I hope you try this out. And please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel.